I just had a top shot gobble at a crow not very far from me. Hey guys, as you can see, we got some really, really, really good content coming up for you in this video here. We've got multiple first experiences, as you could probably tell from the title of the video. We've got um, multiple kills, we've got multiple opportunities at turkeys, and it's going to be a really quick action-packed video. That's why I'm skipping my intro, just doing this quick informal thing right here. As you can see, I'm kind of watching a little bit of kitten rescuing video. I really advise you guys to go check out that video on the page here. But... Um, I've moved back home, southeast Wisconsin now for the summer. You can see I've updated my room with a bit of my mounts and stuff. But um, I'll be able to crank out videos a lot quicker this summer than back when I was in school in southwest Wisconsin. So look forward to a lot of action in this video and look forward to a lot of action this summer. We're just getting set up. It's getting about that time. We kick off the 2022 turkey season with my younger brother, Joe Splinter. Joe drew season A this year, and this is actually his first turkey hunt ever with a tag of his own in his pocket. We stalked a long way into some southwest Wisconsin public land, and we've already got some turkeys coming in. It's at this time that I'm looking at the LCD screen just a few feet away from my brother and I can see this little tuft poking out and I believe at the time it's a very long beard. What it really is is the wind blowing up his feathers and making it look like he's got a long beard. I see this view again through the LCD screen, and I believe mistakenly that I'm seeing a long beard. Shoot that one in front, maybe you get it clear of the other birds. Just wait. Just wait. Go ahead. When are you ready, Joe? You can shoot. 
the view was tough. Joe couldn't get See on that big three pump. trees right here. Let's go check them out. I shot them between all three. Good job. If it was with a giant tom, I'm sure it's a Jake or Tom. So. I never saw all three of them at once. It was hard to tell. Yeah. Not a single gobble. Good freaking shot though. Here, come on up. They must have been roosted right where we thought. Yeah. And they just got down in the wind. Good shot. Yeah, it's a Tom. Nice. Is it Tom or Jake? No. It's a Jake. Hey, it's a turkey. Yeah. Sweet. You know, this is my first turkey. Ever? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice. The first time I've done Don't worry. Step on his head. Joe just made it about 35 yard shot and he was sitting right in there behind that big tree so he made an absolute thread the needle shot um, he couldn't really decipher any of like the beards or anything but like perfect shot especially for your first turkey and they were starting to like lift up so I was just keeping Joe updated because the tree that we thought would have the most blocked shots had a better view yeah. because of the, had a great view. right because the way they came they came like this and it was kind of weird we expected them to work up to this path or to this decoy but they were more looking at us than the decoy so it kind of destroyed it but that's a pretty sweet bird dude i know it's my first one so i'm, I'm happy with it yeah i'm really happy yeah especially making a really clean yeah, kill i was worried more about the shot than yeah. the bird you know yeah, it was smart that you uh, waited for them to get separated a little bit so you weren't shooting multiple birds because yeah, that I, wouldn't be... Two of them were lined up and I was almost like, do I take? No, yeah, I take that, that was smart. But, that was smart. Yeah, the well, bigger one was right behind it when I wanted to take that shot and I was like, dang. Yeah. But yeah, I had that That was the first shot I had was when they were both like lined up like this, their heads. Right. And I was like, I can't shoot two of them at once. So It, it was hard because I only only one point. of them had a super white head. Yeah. And and usually that's just indicative of a tom, and that was that was the biggest bird. But it was weird because he wasn't in front, and usually when they're more dominant like that, they're in front. So waiting it out and waiting for a good shot was good, and literally not a single gobble this morning too. Yeah, we had no idea these birds were here. We weren't going to see much, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere. Yeah, I was getting scared too. Up, so. But it's been a little cold lately. It was pretty windy this morning, so it actually worked out perfectly. We must have walked like. See the tip of that ridge, Joe? We walked yeah. down below that, like oh, yeah. right, right down from there is that bottom. The walk here was really fun. <laughs> yeah, right. We, we sweated up quite a yeah. bit. But but yeah, we, we walked probably within 60 yards of these guys mm -hmm. uh, where they were roosted, and they just hopped down and then crept around the ridge towards us. So. Yeah, and now uh, we get to clean up a bird and go to class. Yeah. All right, Joe. So this was your first turkey ever, right? This is. This I mean, I went hunting when I was younger with Jacob here. And yeah. My dad, but I was too young to like shoot yet. So I've been turkey hunting, but not for a long time. Yeah, you were probably yeah. eight years old, ten years old. Yeah. Last time you went out. Mm -hmm. So I'm one for one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty successful hunt. The walk was, as you heard before, treacherous. <laughs> and so back up a hill from there that was pretty steep and at this point we're sweating right oh yeah we, we're taking a good break and i'm already soaked through my shirt but we're not even halfway there right then finally when we got settled in it was about 5 40 which is shooting time and um sat there for about 20 minutes and jacob was calling him in a little bit um and i got a real nice shot on the head of the jake and I'm really happy with that, honestly. My first turkey ever. That dog's going crazy by me. I'm going to hit first reset here. Just trying to get reset. I was already set up. I'm going to
hoping they just fly it right to me. At this point, I'm kind of shocked because I hear the toms make a circle like they're coming toward me, but they make a giant loop around me just outside of view and range, kind of in the direction that I had first set up this point. I play this cat and mouse game with the toms that circled above me until I hear the toms that drop down the ravine start to gobble back again. At this point I think they came off of their hens and they started to work back towards me, the lone hen, that they thought they had abandoned. Because I was above these toms and they just barely couldn't see my decoy, they refused to come up to me. So I sat there and debated heading down towards them. watched in quiet agony as the group of toms and hens and jakes that was circling around me before slowly made their way down to these two strutting toms. Afraid that the hens would pull the toms away, and I thought that the toms were pretty preoccupied with all the hens around them. And knowing that I was slightly out of view of them if I laid down, I began belly crawling away from them and down to the path below so that I could possibly crawl up and get a shot.
to check on X and try to cut him off. I don't know how the hell I'm do it. While I was army crawling, the hens had guided the toms downhill, and they weren't spooked because they were gobbling the whole time. When I went to go catch up with the toms and loop around them, I ended up kicking away some hens that had circled in front of them. With this happening, I tried to re relocate them, and shooting at the gun range ended up making the toms go silent. I was back to the drawing board, and I went to go pick up the decoy from earlier in the day. So I come over to where I was initially going to sit, here, and make a quick shift. So I left one of my decoys right here, only shifted about 300 yards. And it's literally bent over. It's got turkey freaking semen on it. Stick is bent. And it got humped until it freaking deflated. New plan. Scared a hen out of the bottom. Found on the map figure that's where they came down from from the roost. They roosted up there. Putting these babies out in the open. I expect them to come from that way, so I'm trying to attract attention to them. Putting up the blind in here. Calling a lot, skipping all my classes. See how it goes. I just had a top shot gobble at a crow not very far from me in the opposite direction I was expecting. Not positive which way he's gonna come in yet.
can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. What happened? Well, here's what happened. This video is in extremely slow motion, and I guess the short version of the story is I made a bad shot, but I was aiming for the head specifically because last year I busted up some of the beard and the fan of the turkey I had shot. You can even remember that in Joe's video, I was telling him to aim for the very top of the head, and that was only a 35-yard shot. For this, I was aiming at the base of the skull, and right as I was about to squeeze off, Tom moved his head forward ever so slightly, and in this slow motion, you can actually see the pattern go just to the left and a little high of his head. This was a really, really dumb mistake and probably could have been eliminated by me patterning my shotgun more. Also kind of milking the footage, I could have shot those birds a lot earlier than I did, but I decided to wait, try to get good footage, and in a way, I was being a little bit cocky from that. I had an extra tight choke instead of just a normal full choke, and I should have known how my shotgun would shoot. It was a dumb rookie mistake, and it's important that I just own up to it and make sure I do better in the future. This day, my girlfriend, Caitlin, came into town. You can see her here taking a nap after a long walk in. Caitlin had never been a huge fan of seeing things die, and therefore never really wanted to take part in the killing part of hunting. We'd gone on multiple observation sits together, scouting trips, hikes, things like that, but never was killing really an option. She came to me this weekend and knew that I only had a couple days left of my season and said that she was finally ready if I were to get the opportunity for me to take it. We chased multiple times around the property, never quite having things line up, and at our last attempt we had a Jake come in after the Tom had spooked off. Asking her permission and knowing this was an opportunity I probably wasn't going to get again this season, I took advantage. He's a young one. Thanks. <laughs> hey, that wasn't the one we heard gobbling, but it's better than nothing. We did it. Okay. <laughs> we, uh, second to last day. Did Jake have like the three last better tire? But, um, Definitely earned. It's a grind of a season. That's sweet. I'm really glad I got to do it with you. I don't know how much you're <laughs> excited about this or not, but I was really happy to do it with you. You don't have to record anymore. Super exciting. <laughs> I've killed many turkeys in my life. I've grinded for a public land giant like you all saw in my last video on the hunting beast. I've killed a huge double bearded tom alongside my dad, which you saw in the background mounted at the start of this video, and I've gotten multiple friends and my brother on their first birds. None of those turkey hunts were as much fun and rewarding as this one with Caitlin. I strongly suggest you guys take out a new hunter because I guarantee you'll have a lot more fun on even an unsuccessful hunt with a new hunter than if you succeeded solo on a trophy. Third week of the season, I'm out with my friend Alex trying to capitalize on what we have left of active calling public land birds.
Watch, I'm like 800 for all this. There's no other way to access that, right? Right, if they dress mask. I see the turkeys though. You see that? I see one of them. Not in the tree. You can go ahead whenever. Wait. Whenever you feel comfortable. I feel like I was right on that. He's oh, gone. It's okay. Yeah, I felt like I was right on that. It's okay. Okay, we can rewatch the footage. You guys know the drill from earlier in this video. We got it in extreme slow mo, and it's really hard to tell where this shot misses. The spread's a little less concentrated because Alex has a normal full choke rather than extra full. And it seems like it kind of clips the turkey from the turkey's reaction, but it goes a little bit to the left and over the turkey's back. Tough situation when you're shooting offhand. Well, I'm not really too worried about that. Got that out of the way. <laughs> well, now you can't give me. Something that all of us can probably take from Alex here is that he is fantastic at dealing with missed opportunities or failure. He's always right back on the saddle, and he's always been this way in life and hunting and wrestling as well. Whenever you beat Alex, he says, you can't keep me down, and he just comes back and beats you the next time. Alex is never going to be kept down in life because of this, and it's a lesson that I really need to take from him as well in this situation. Alex and I hunted several more times this season, but ended up having no luck in his tag. I think it's really important that we show you guys these failures as well as our successes so you realize that those that do this religiously year round still fail from time to time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Drop a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see leading up to this deer hunting season here. I'm looking forward to making some content for you and I really want to make sure that it's something you really want to watch. Um, that being said, I was a little late getting my spring scouting videos up, but I have two that are going to be posted now. Um, they're going to be on my personal YouTube page because it's a little late to be posting on the Hunting Beast page for that stuff. But these are parts two and three to that new land to big buck series that I'm doing where I go from a piece that I've never been on, e-scouting it, boots on the ground scouting it, preseason scouting it, and then hunting it and showing you guys all the steps along the way to hopefully killing a really nice buck on it. So drop a like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see in the future going into that video series.